Go. School's out forever. Do, 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 do. Hey, people, welcome back to the next episode of Creepy Places of New England, because I know there's like five or six of you that are like dying to see the next episode. Anyway, um, we are now in Rehoboth, Massachusetts, and we're at, we're at the Horn Buying School, which I think it's, which is spelled H-O-R-N-B-I-N-E. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but as from some past experiences, if I'm not, if I am mispronouncing it, you people on YouTube will make sure I spell it, I say it correctly. So anyway, enjoy this episode, and if you're ever here and you need to take a big shit, just go in here. Welcome to the Hornbine School, and see, there's a sign right here that says it about it, but instead of actually reading the sign like we did in Salem, I got notes. I actually did my research before I came here. So anyway, the Hornbein School was first built in 1825, and um, it wasn't called the Hornbein School. It was actually called Cole Brook School, which I guess it was named after a, um, um, a cemetery nearby. Eh, a little bit of opening. Um, I should be added that um, the school was a little bit smaller, and then like sort of like down here, was actually added on later. Um, not sure what year. Um, and we'll, I also want to mention these wooden shutters are actually the uh, the same ones used in the early years. So I don't think it's exactly the same shutters from like 1825, but maybe a little bit earlier. So anyway, um, it got its name, the Horn Bein School, in 1882. And in 1928, it had its highest attendance of students, um, at the time, 49 school, 49 students. You might let it see, it's kind of like one of those Little House on the Prairie ones, if you guys remember that show. I know under, maybe people under the age of 13 don't know the name of the show, but, you know, Little House, there. Little House on the Prairie. However, in 1937, the school closed. And that's kind of like a shame, but, however, in the 1960s, um... They restored it, and you can actually come here and take tours and everything like that. So, and I want to make some... Actually, I didn't write that down. Okay. Yeah, 1968, it was redone. Okay? So, okay, so I didn't quite do all my research. Chill out, people. So, I want to give some props to some of the teachers that came here. Um, Frances Bliss, she taught here in 1860. Uh, Lizzie Douglas Baker, who taught from 1868 to 1869. And Marion Horton, who taught from 1923 to 1926. So, why are we here to do another creepy place in New England on this great historical school? Well, there's an idea of the people have come here and actually heard class still in session. Squad, the kids, sorry, let me talk a little louder. The kids and the teachers will actually be still teaching here. The original kids and the teachers. Now, is this ghosts or is this something else? There are two different types of hauntings of an area. Regular spirits, restless spirits, or um, something called residuals. Let me uh, take a peek inside. See, this place is not open. However, we can look inside. So, let me go a little bit further. So, at least you can see inside. Residuals is sort of like a recording of an area. And, um, so it's not like, they're not really, like, Spirits, like uh, intelligent spirits. So a residual would be sort of like a, um, it's like repeating itself. And in some of the old places, they'll, you know, you'll see like people, like uh, repeats of what's going on. Like sometimes repeats of murders or schools or stuff like that. And it's not really harmful. It's just like I said, again, I'm repeating myself, a recording. Haha, <laughs> repeating, repeats. So I'm getting from what have eyewitnesses have said, it is not haunted, but it's just haunted by... Res resi residuals spirits so it's a nice little place and I don't understand it's open Sundays on the fourth and the, th the third the, sorry, the second and the fourth Sundays of the month but I do think they have specialties for like school kids and everything so it's kind of cool if you were to you know it's a nice little nice little throwback to our history in New England again going inside you can see a little bit better Eh, like they actually restored it very well, and and some of the um, desk in here, I think that particularly the teacher's desk right there was actually donated from another uh, one room 
schoolhouse. Hey Steve, why don't you talk about the rock, what you just told me. Well, I decided to sit on this rock to see where it was. It's being the front stoop. It's actually a big rock. And I sat here, was meditating a little bit. And where I was holding onto the rock, my fingers were almost tingling, almost numbing. It was, it's kind of a neat feeling. Why are you experiencing all the good shit today? Uh, they like me today. Th they should like me. Why don't you try it? Okay. Okay. I had Charles sit on the stoop just to see if he felt anything. I'm giving him a few minutes to himself just to see. Let's go see if he heard anything or felt anything. Hey, Charles. Hi. Are you feeling anything? Yeah, well, I had this sort of like sh sharp jolt, jolt of energy in my arm right here. And also, just before you approached me, I was I started feeling light, light, not light, 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 lightheaded, really. So, I don't know. There's something there, though, huh? Something's here, maybe. We well, don't want crackhead kids coming around here and vandalizing the place, though. No.